just get set up. Oof. A white undercap does not look good on me. Hi guys, it's Alia, the face of Broken Bougie. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I was in the mood for like a cozy chit chat, get to know me type of video. And the question box on my Instagram and quite a few people actually sent some questions. So I thought I would actually do a more in-depth video on some of the questions. Also my throat is going to get really dry because I think I'm getting sick. So grab a cup of coffee or your tea and uh, let's sit back and relax and uh, get to know one another. <laughs> We're gonna start off simple. Um, I'm gonna start with my age. I'm 24. My birthday is the 19th of February. I'm a Pisces. What do I do for work? This one, this question actually came up quite a bit. I'm a copywriter. So anything that goes on social media or websites, blogs, articles, I literally do all of that. Next question was how do I take and edit my pictures? My pictures are really simple. If I'm not the one taking my own photos, I usually ask like my sister in law or someone to take them. But like I how I take my own pictures, I use like I look wherever there's nice lighting. And then I have like my own preset or edit. And if it doesn't work out, I just adjust it to my liking. Also I use the iPhone settings or the camera settings on the iPhone to edit my pictures. I used to use Lightroom but I moved on. I was over the oversaturated blue skies and green grass vibes. Next one, someone asked how do I make money online as a teen? So I don't have experience like making money online as a teenager but I did have a casual job while I was studying and this was like in 2018, 2019 it was like a summer job that I had but now like I think when I just started working I still had like a way of making money on the side so I used to like thrift my clothes so whether that was like creating an Instagram account solely where I could sell my pre-loved clothes but now there's an app for it uh Yaga I still use that app it makes it so much easier the only thing they do have like a fee that they charge you when you use the the platform it makes thrifting much easier because we all know that observatory can be a bit pricey when it comes to thrifting. Uh, I got a lot of questions on how um, I got into copywriting. So I started working in 2019, like February, like my my real, real, real job. Um, yeah, I started working in 2019. It was for a digital media internship. I actually applied to, it was the same company, but I applied to both of the positions. There was one for digital media internship and there was one for a journalism internship. I wanted the journalism internship. I actually went for both interviews and I sucked at the journalism one. But then luckily, all of the all of the answers or questions that they asked me in the journalism internship, I was able to prepare better for the digital internship so i ended up getting the digital internship position so it was like 12 of us 12 or 13 of i literally got exposed to copywriting web design graphic design social media like everything digital i got exposed to it and i did that for a year and then from there at the end of like the internship that's when they decided who's going to be staying, who are they letting go. And I was one of the lucky few that managed to stay. And then I got the role as junior copywriter and I did that um, for like three, three, four years. And now that's what I currently do now. Moving on, what does a typical work day look like for me? So I work five days a week. Two of those days I work from home. So that's like Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I start work at nine o'clock and I get to the office. I set up my laptop. We have like a status update of what's our workload looking like and how was our weekend and all of that. So when I get to my desk, I start writing what I need to do for the day. And yeah, and then I work on that for the day. That usually like involves researching, writing articles, social media captions, things like that. I have my lunch from one to two. But yeah, my days at home are less structured. I wake up much later, obviously, because I'm in my own house. And I start same, nine o'clock, I have my coffee, I have my breakfast. And then I do literally the same thing. It's just less structured. I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna wear to the office. I literally will chill in sweats. So I'm a sucker for like editing on my clips on beat. Before I used CapCut, I was using InShot. 
and then now I use both because now I'm like more familiar with CapCut because CapCut has like so many templates is what did I study at university so I studied a BA and I majored in media and writing and analyzing film and television studies so I studied that I enjoyed actually more the analyzing film and television studies part because that was like basically the, the cinematography and the mise-en-scene and getting to like literally in-depth analyzing of films and whatever still got a long way to go so I'm excited for that I thought I would end off with um, I didn't actually get to answer this on Instagram because it would actually be way too long to explain someone asked me about my hijab journey and I actually made a video on TikTok about it and I recently went to an event where I spoke about my hijab journey so I started wearing the hijab in 20 towards the end of 2018 and it was like such a struggle because I never wore scarf and I was like I would wear it occasionally but I didn't commit to wearing my hijab and I was always so scared of like oh when I'm gonna wear a scarf am I gonna I'm gonna look like an old lady or I'm not gonna be I'm gonna lose my style I only used to wear a cap to cover my hair like I thought that was literally enough and I went from not wearing a scarf at all to like slowly from a turban to straight into wearing a hijab I struggled a lot because my whole style had to completely change I didn't have the wardrobe to like dress modestly because that time like skinny jeans was a thing but yeah I was wearing rib jeans and skinny jeans so I literally had nothing I didn't have like even proper scarves like chiffon scarves nothing I was using my mother's pattern scarves and I still remember in 2019 I went for that job interview for the internship and I had no clue what to wear I was wearing a black pants I borrowed a shirt from my sister-in-law and because I had no clue how to dress properly and it was summertime I didn't know how to dress appropriately for the summer and and I thought it was like classy you know <laughs> I think I'll find a photo to put it up here <laughs> but like it's so funny to look back on now to see how much a person has grown it was a learning curve because I literally had to ditch all the clothes that I used to wear I had to get out of the mindset of oh no I can still wear skinny jeans and my scarf and da 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 but like modesty wasn't just putting on a scarf and being modest I literally had to change my mindset the way I interact with people the things my social activities changed all of that like that was literally my hijab journey it wasn't just me putting on a scarf and saying oh I wear hijab now because it's not just modesty that you have to show on your on your head it's modesty through everything your character everything and it was it was tough at the beginning I remember I would get so angry I still struggle now but I would get like so upset especially when it came to summer because I had I didn't have summer clothes that were like breathable and that I wouldn't get hot in slowly but surely it helped and I started broken bougie on Instagram it was a way for me to discover modest fashion I was able to follow other hijabi influencers modest fashion creators and it gave me inspiration on and like it made me feel like look here I can still be stylish without feeling like I'm an old lady and my style changed for that like it evolved but it's still a learning journey I'm not perfect I'm not saying anybody who wears hijab is perfect but it's your own journey and there's going to be struggles that come with it hijab is not easy but I, I just remember at the end of the day why I'm doing it so it keeps me going I, that was that was basically it I, and I can't picture myself without it and we are thriving at the moment that's all I have for you guys today if you watch this far in the video thank you so much if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I look forward to speaking and seeing you in the next one